Williams residence. Who you here to see? Abigail and Gregory Williams. Hmm. And who do I have the pleasure of entertaining? Sir, it's me, John. John Bernard. We... <laughs> I know who you are. How's your daddy? Oh, he's great. Just acquired fifty more acres a little further west of here. Also, pardon me. Good to see you again, Abigail. It's my pleasure. Oh, let me give you two some time. I'll have some lemonade brought out to you. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Daddy. It's good to see you, too. I got something for you. Oh, yeah? I'm asking for his blessing today. How's Mama? She's fine. Says she miss you. Tell her I miss her. They having a fancy dinner tonight. The man with the green eyes coming up here again. The one with the little ears and big teeth? <laughs> so you thought about that plan? Gregory is asking for you. Hannah, go on and set this up real nice on a tray and bring it out front to John and Abigail. Yes, sir. You know, those two are going to marry soon. I know it. That's lovely, sir. You know I'm sending you because they'll need a nanny soon enough. Thought this might be a good little package deal. Okay, sir. Forgive me, I didn't mean to scare you. The one with the little ears and big teeth? <laughs> Would that be all? Yes, that's all. Actually, I have a few questions for you. You have questions for the house girl? I thought I told you. Father is seeking a new house girl, especially because of this. Well, excuse me a moment. What's your name? Hannah. It's okay. How old are you, Hannah? Eighteen. You're beautiful. You know that. You'll be doing the nursing, Hannah, for the kids in a year or so. You'll be coming home with me then, too. You got all your questions out, John, baby? Every one. You're dismissed. You come from seeing Hannah? Yes, Mama. Told y'all to stop with that before you get taken out back. I'm sorry. I wanted to ask about the plan again. What'd she say? Mr. Williams called her in. They're trying to sell me off with her. With who? Abigail. Gregory said I'd be the nanny and take care of their kids. Mm, sounds about right. I don't want to go. Do you have a choice? Now listen, sweetie. Hannah, you see this here? You're fair, baby. Up north you can pretend. You can pass. And then come back and get us. You want me to run? I can't make you do nothing. But I know you don't have to live like this. You can make it. Besides, caring for the kids, you get more sympathy, you know? Just don't let them hear them call you mama. That always sets them off.
What the hell? It's all right, it's all right. Happens to the best of them. Isn't that right, Hannah? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Damn right it won't. And you wanted this? She was far less clumsy early today. I'm still willing to give her a chance. What is wrong with you, girl? He touched me. Hannah, we make decisions every day. People will tell you you a slave and you just follow. But I don't care who you are. From the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to sleep, you make decisions every moment. So what am I supposed to do? What do I decide? You do whatever you need to keep this alive. You have nothing at all if it dies. Well, I can't wait anymore. I have to ask. Out with it, boy. Mr. Williams, sir. I'd like to ask for your blessing to marry your daughter, Abigail. I see. I see. Of course, you can have my blessing. I was wondering how long it was going to take you to ask. I'd also like to put my bid in for Hannah as a future midwife. We need a good new nigger girl for the house. Absolutely. And she's so light. Come here, little girl. Less offensive to have hanging out around the house all day. Oh, go on, Hannah. Go and get the good whiskey from the cupboard in the study. Yes, sir. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I have a cabin on the other side of the creek behind my house. I'm the only one with a key. My boys and I go out there every once in a while. But you, Hannah... I'd take you up to see the cabin, too. That sounds nice, sir. Mr. Williams would be angry if I don't bring his whiskey. That's right. And we don't want you to get in trouble before I get my hands on you. May I be excused, Mr. Bernard? Yes, you may. I'll be right back. I'm leaving tonight. If I don't, they're going to send me off with Miss Abigail and her new husband, John, and I'll never see you again. I don't want you to go, but... But decisions must be made. I'll tell Mama. You know, last week when Gregory was drunk after church, he mistook me for his niece, Sarah. Oh, yeah? I don't think he even remembered the next day, but that's how I know I'll be all right, if he can't even tell. And you could get away from little Liz. 